Hey there, welcome to Farmcraft. So this is the wheel to a Ford Model A, which uh, they started producing in 1928. I'm excited to announce that I am collaborating with a YouTuber. This guy's name is Commonwealth Picker. He also has another channel called Commonwealth Flipper. Uh, this guy is a picker. Uh, if you don't know what a picker is, that's someone who goes around and buys and then resells things. So they go to yard sales and barn finds or whatever it is. He's one of these people that can walk into a yard sale where I would just see a bunch of old junk laying around. He can pick out the treasures and know what, what's going to have value and what other people are going to want. Definitely check him out. I'll leave links in the description. He finds some really interesting things. Well, he finds things like this. Would you do five, five, and five? 15 bucks? Yeah. Do that? Alright. All right, and what do you have on this? 50, 50 bucks. Oh. Hard to find them. Yeah, I know. I think a good wall cool. hanger. I was going to paint it and hang it in my garage. but It's pretty cool. Yeah. I think I'd offer you 40 on it if you're willing to, to, to do 40. But right. would you do 40? Let's do it. All right, well, didn't expect you to say yes. You know, you're right. I've been doing this a long time. I don't come yeah. across it very often. Okay. I just got to have it. And in this condition, not many people are going to want this. But he thought maybe I could restore this, and then this would become a nice wall hanger for somebody. All right, this is uh, a little bit bigger than my shed in here. John, where are you at? <laughs> hey there, you <laughs> All doing? right, I got to put, I got to change my camera here so I can shake your hand. <laughs> How you doing? Good, good. All How right, here, doing? here is what I brought to you today. Is there something you think you can do with that thing for me? It'll rust on it. Now, I bought it thinking it was a Model T, and a few of my viewers nicely, of course, said, I have no idea what I'm talking about, which is true. I don't. <laughs> I'm a history teacher, so I was obviously gravitated to the piece of history, yeah. but it looks like a Model A, they tell me. A Model A, okay. So is there something you think you could do with this thing? Yeah, I think right. so. This thing's in pretty good shape. Nothing's loose on it. The trick with this is going to be this hubcap here. It is very dented up and trying to get that back to a presentable shape. Uh, I think I can make it better. I don't know how much better we're going to find out. You know, that being there and keeping the Ford logo intact, uh, I think is key here. So I can see it looks like it had red paint on it. With the exception of the hubcap, I think everything was paint on this. So I'm going to try to restore it to its original state. Now, I know I'm not going to be able to make this thing look perfect, but hopefully I'm going to be able to make it look like, you know, maybe it's got just a ding or two. Right now it looks pretty rough.
Do you have an air compressor? Well, then you have a sandblaster. These things are surprisingly cheap. I'll leave a link in the description. You just basically plug it into your air hose. It's a blow gun that has a suction port off of it. This basically acts like a Venturi. You put this end down into some sand, then the air will pull up some sand. It'll get blasted on whatever part you're doing. Now, what I've done here is I've swept this whole area of concrete. So after I've sandblasted for a little while, I can sweep up the sand, put it back in the bucket, keep on rolling. It's not a blasting cabinet. If you're gonna be sandblasting frequently and often, this is not the answer. But if you infrequently need a sandblaster, this is a great way to go. And when I do this, I wear an N95 because I don't want to breathe a bunch of silica dust. So here we are after one bucket, and you can see back there the sand all over. I'm going to sweep all that up, put it back in the bucket. Filtering it with a filter like this can be really helpful so that you don't get clogs. I have a pretty big air compressor, uh, but even if you have a smaller compressor, all you need is some air storage, which is easy to come by. I've got an old compressor here, and I just took the tank and hooked it into my system, so that basically just increases the size of the tank. So even if your compressor is small, if you have something like this, you wait for this to fill up, you're going to be able to sandblast for a period of time before you have to stop and wait again. So here we are after two buckets of sand. I've got the most of the front. I have some more work to do on the spokes. The back side, essentially, I haven't done anything yet, but we're getting there. Let me get back to it. So full disclosure, while I think sandblasting with this technique is really cool, I am saving up for a blasting cabinet. I blast often enough that I need one. Uh, this took quite a few hours to do this wheel, and I wouldn't recommend this, like I said, if you're going to be doing a lot of blasting. Uh, I want to thank my Patreon supporters because that's where I'm going to get the money to buy a blasting cabinet. I'm saving up my monthly donations, uh, and when I get enough, I'm getting a blasting cabinet. So there we are after sandblasting. The entire front is well blasted. This area here is clean. That's actually a primer in there um, that was quite thick, so I left it in place. It's well adhered, and the, the hub cap is going to cover that up anyway. Same on the uh, area under the tire here. This is very thick primer uh, and well adhered. I got all the loose stuff off, and so that's, that's ready to go and uh, the back as well. Uh, it's much much thicker in here. They didn't take as much care on these areas. Everything else I got down to bare metal and we're ready for some primer.
Now I could have taken the time to come in here and file and body putty and try to make everything perfect, but I think that would have taken away from the character of the wheel. This is what it is. This is how it was manufactured. So I'm bringing it back to how it was when it was new, not, not something different. Like right here, you can actually see the weld. So if you can picture how they made this, there you see the back side of the weld. This was a flat band of steel. They probably rolled it into this profile and at the same time rolled it into a circle, attached the two ends together with a weld and ground it down and left it pretty rough. You know, that's how it was. I looked at a lot of the comparisons stuff online and a lot of them were red. Uh, there were some other colors, but red was real common. It looked like it had been red before. So that's what I'm going with. I haven't decided is what I want to do on the inside of the wheel. You know, that's not an area that normally would have been finished. The tire would be covering that. I could paint it black. Right now, I kind of want to see what it looks like just primer. All right, so Henry Ford dies, he goes to heaven. At the pearly gate, St. Peter tells Mr. Ford, well, you've been such a good guy, you invented the car, you changed the world. As a reward, you can hang out with anybody in heaven of your choice. So Henry Ford thinks to himself and says, I'd like to hang out with God. So St. Peter says, that's fine, and takes him directly to God. Ford introduces himself to God and says, hey God, I don't want to sound biased, but you have some major design flaws in your invention, the woman. One, there's too much front end protrusion. Two, it chatters at high speeds. Three, the rear end wobbles too much. Four, the intake is too close to the exhaust. Hmm, says God. I see your points. And he goes over to his celestial supercomputer, types a few keystrokes and gets some results. He then turns back to Mr. Ford and says, it may be that my invention is flawed, but according to my computer, Way more men are riding my invention than yours. <laughs> and this wheel's taken a lot of time. Well, you know what they say Ford stands for. Fix or repair daily. So I got this wheel from Kevin at Commonwealth Pickers. Hey John, you in here? Hey Kevin, yeah, come on in. All right, I gotta see this thing. I got something for you here. Oh, that's awesome, man, that is so cool. So do I have to auction it off or can I just put it in my shed? Can <laughs> well, I just keep it? Yeah, you can buy it. <laughs> <laughs> well, auction off. Maybe I'll bid on it you on get, my own you channel. You'll get it for half price. <laughs> <laughs> that is really cool. I love it. That's awesome. Yeah. Did an amazing job. So yeah, guys, this is Kevin. Um, he's got a, a several channels, actually, but his main channel is... Commonwealth Picker. Commonwealth Which is Picker. where we bought this one, yep. which you should have seen on the... I'm yep. making... Um, look at that. You're going to have to wipe that off. I got my fingerprint on it. Yep. <laughs> and Yeah, I'm leaving links to the, the video where he bought it. Um, and uh, he's also going to have a video where he's selling it. If you're it. watching this now, you'll probably... The video will be out on my channel, the Flipper channel, Commonwealth Flipper. And probably, I'll probably release it pretty close to when you do. And then we'll talk about this and I'll show you where to find it. I'll, I'll send you a link and you can maybe put auction. it in your description. Okay. So yeah, we're going to auction this off. And at the time you're watching this video, the auction will be live. So look in the description and you'll see it. For sure. All right. All right. You going to find some other stuff for me to restore? Uh, I absolutely. All right, <laughs> I've already started looking. Matter of fact, I found another thing. I'll, 
I'll show you before I leave. All right. All right. Okay. We can't show you guys, though. <laughs> nope. So what do you guys think of this wheel? Um, I, I like it the way it is, uh, leaving the primer and, and the flat finish here and then the shine there. Part of me, though, thinks that should be black. I feel like if it was black, it would be drastic contrast, maybe a little too much contrast. If whoever buys it wants to paint it black, they can easily just go over it black. It wouldn't be hard to do. I would take a piece of cardboard, I'd cut a hole in the center for that, tape it down, and then tape over the hub. And then the other side is flat. You could actually just lay it on a table like this and just paint it. I really like the way this restoration came out. It's not a complete restoration. Obviously, there's still some scuffs. There's still some dents here. Very, very difficult to get that perfect with bodywork because uh, this thing was pretty beat up. The alternative would have been to use body putty and smooth it all out. You still would have had some trouble with the Ford, but I mean, I could have made it better with body putty and then painted it a, a chrome paint. But I just felt like that was not in spirit with the restoration I want to do for this. I want to keep this thing like original and original that was a piece of metal, a shiny piece of metal. So at the same time, you know, there's still some roughness to this, the finish of the spokes and everything, but that's how it originally was. So I didn't want to, again, body putty and sand and make it, you know, too perfect. Uh, I, I kind of like the way it came out. It's a Model A wheel, it's old and this is pretty much how it would have looked coming out of the factory uh, without, you know, what, what remains of uh, dents and scuffs in that hub. Give me a thumbs up if you want to see more restorations. Uh, I think Kevin over at Commonwealth Pickers is going to be able to find me more stuff to work on and we can restore them and a lot of them we'll be putting up for auction uh, for sale. Cool little project. Hope you enjoyed. We'll see you on the next one.